get a tough shot and give up a second one there, but did a good job on the second possession defensively. David Johnson brings it into the front court. And the first two points of the season belong to Williamson. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get used to each other. Takeaway for Davis that helps start the break. Kick to the corners. Lazinski lets the three-pointer fly. And the Cardinals are doubling up the Purple Aces 10 to 5. It's going to be a long night for the Aces if they're not able to hit shots and not able to create second chance opportunities. Williamson, a couple dribbles, fades away, and that shot is pure. They started out on November 29th. Good luck under the bucket. And a strong finish on that possession. Just try to pack the paint is what they're trying to do, essentially. And so far, they've done a pretty good job of that. Well, Kuhlman tried the layup, and he was slow to get back down the floor. And that led to an easy opportunity for Williamson at the rim. Patino was obviously really, really excited. A lot of us former players and coaches who had a chance to work for him and play for him, really excited to see him get back to the game where he belongs. And... It's just the second meeting for these two teams since 1957. Evansville had their opener against Louisville in 2016 and lost that game. When we used to go out to lunch as a staff here at Louisville, we would all order something and he would never eat anything. We used to give a hard time about it. Jeff Walls, two days ago, game at MTSU canceled for Wednesday, November 25th. On December 1st, early next week on ACC Network, Big Ten ACC Challenge. They'll see Wisconsin December 9th and then get to the start of conference play. Smack. Roden working, a pull-up triple. Another offensive board. That's Obiagu who's turned away. Bryce Aiken today, the Harvard transfer, but... I'm not sure Bryce is at 100% yet, so they don't really have a pure point guard right now. Ahead of the field, Dre Davis makes it a four-point game. And he did think about the draft a little bit before pulling his name out and coming back for a senior season. Williams takes the rebound, and Louisville looking in transition. Williamson connects. And we see Louisville limiting Pitt to a one-and-done. Lacking some of this firepower. Two things. Number one, Pitt's offensive rebounding has just been non-existent so far. And not, number two, Louisville's just getting that running game cranked up. Nickelberry's in the ball game for Louisville. He wears number 20. I'm getting a chance to get back in there tonight, overcoming some injury difficulties of late. Good piece of solid defense by David Johnson. That's all the game all things. Good steal by Williamson. It just didn't seem like he really wanted that shot. And he shot only because he was open. There it is. And a shot from the wing. He had had him rated as the number one impact fifth-year player. And I thought when Czar decided that he was the player eligible, he would be number one. But the lead is now seven. For Louisville, it's largest of the game. Try to go inside. Fumbled away. Couldn't handle the pass. Karnick. The transition defense by Boston College. Williamson. Pass in tight quarters, but great catch by Davis and a finish. CJ and DJ. Hopefully we get to talk about them throughout the season of the ACC. And Samuel Williamson, he wants some time as well. Don't turn the ball over at the end of the break. Johnson. Mitchell. Over Mitchell. Williamson got it back for Louisville. He's going to the line. Kelly fouled him. Louisville has got guys that have the good second jump. You see, playing good defense, and then Sam Williamson coming up the offense and being able to finish. Guards for and Johnson rips it away from the defenders. Jones up ahead. There's the jam. Running ahead was Williamson. Looking at the court vision, realizing he's got a streak in Sam Williamson at the rim. They were shooting just 66% as a team from the line coming in. Three-pointer is good. Samuel Williamson. Nickelberry came in with five points off the bench. They've had a boost as well from Quince Lazinski. And now Dre Davis sticks one from the corner. And Neath, that's a good job by Neath to recognize that his defender's laying on the ground and take the ball to the goal. So let's wake up by four, and there's Williamson. Jones gave it up for Williamson. He's got his second three, and that's a very encouraging sign for Samuel Williamson. 
And Williamson has started the year shooting very slowly from beyond the arc, but that was a good looking stroke there. Withers two more from Sam Williamson. Sam Williamson left alone and he drills it. Vitsa, the seven foot one soccer. And then the response by Samuel Williamson. Leonard Hamilton praising him in our chat last night for Calhoun's defense. And the floater goes for Samuel Williams. That is a final four threat. I, I, I think we're looking at it. Williamson, tough shot. Time running out on Louisville. Try a three and get it. And that was Nickelberry. Good look at Charles Midland in the game for the first time for Louisville. He got hurt last November. I like it. Good recognition. Cards will look to break. From the corner, it's Williamson knocking it down. It's a big shot. The crease, no call. He wanted a call against the cards. A lot of contact, but no whistle. Now Louisville with an opportunity to put two more on the board before the end of the first half. A turnaround is good. Williamson hits it just at the buzzer. Here comes David Johnson. Williamson gets the rebound and one. 2005. Hey, hey look at that name. <laughs> what a name what for a the throwback. past. What a great team that was, that 2005 Cardinals team. That's going to be a great look at an easy bucket by Wisnitzer. But what was the greatest benefit, Corey, for the Tar Heels getting that game in earlier this week? Well, it was to get a home game, to be completely honest. That could never be, you know, more false. I am a, first off, Carmelo <laughs> Anthony is my little brother. I am a huge Adrian Autry, Jerry McNamara fan. Those are my guys. It possibly can. And you see Malik Williams continuing to get the job done defensively as Samuel Williamson gets out on the, uh, the second best team in the ACC in rebound margin. And you can't do that without getting it done on the offensive class. And nice hands by David Johnson. Picking the pocket of Caleb Love there and leading to an easy buck. 18 plus day COVID pauses and the games that they played after that, or is that something that will or will not, will, will not be in consideration when they make those selections? Notre Dame is now in a over four minute scoring drought after they were able to knock down a couple of threes after missing their first six, and you see Notre Dame going to the zone. Samuel Williams is stepping right into the center of that. You see Withers skying in there to grab that rebound. Great second effort there, and a pull up pop will be in for Williamson. Jones going one on one with Hub. Williamson again. Yes! Well, another big play for him. For Samuel Williamson, as he's found a way to get into the painted area and starting to find that rhythm. Who wins this game? They are in the field for the NCAA tournament, given everything else that has happened so far this afternoon and into this evening. Williamson able to knock that first one down into a run for the Cardinals. And a three on two, running nice. the fast break to perfection, and Withers for the easy dunk. Williamson having trouble with that one. Able to save it back to Jones along three, and that one's going to drop in. Good defense once again, and they played great defense throughout the night, and a quick strike on the other end. Like this, you get an offensive board. But you end up turning it over, and this is, you know, this is another area, Dave, where Louisville did a nice job. Louisville forcing the turnover. Over the top, and the slam for Williamson. The 25 pounds he added. Hey, there's that turnover. He's not open. So, like, you put the big guy in a bad spot. Now, this is a bad turnover. Moore lost the handle. Another turnover. And now three on one, Williamson ascending for two. Ten at halftime, they rallied. They did have the lead in the second half on a couple of occasions. Way downtown. That's a post up. You know, he posts even though he goes out a little farther, a little Bonzi Wells move. You'll see that very often. Trainer with the stop, the 6'8 freshman, but they beat them quickly on the other end of the floor. Beautiful jump shot. 
And Chris Mack told us during our Zoom call with him today, he said, you know, for Williamson, it's kind of about, you know, knowing where your strengths lie. And Mack said he never misses a mid-range jumper. Practice, game, never. And here they go. A stressful season at times, an exhausting season at times for the Cardinals. Yeah, I, th I think it has been. And I think there, there have been a lot of gut punches that they've taken with uh, with COVID. And there's Samuel Williamson again. Wire had a terrific offensive game against BC last night. Duke winning easily, 86-51, and there's Nickelberry knocking down a three.